Hi there, good people. Good afternoon from Dhaka, Bangladesh. How are you all doing? Today, uh, I'm doing the last episode. I'm doing four fragrance reviews in a row. So this is the last of them all and the most special today uh, out of the four fragrances. The way I say that, I have a special attachment towards this fragrance. Um, this house, I actually started off with uh, Bushan Jaipur, Jaipur EDT, EDP, and then I did a summer version. And I smell this one uh, fragrance long time back. I always wanted to cover this some one to two years back. This one didn't have any reviews as far as I've seen. And on Fragrantic especially, they did not put this in their uh, archive, right? So this is called Boucheron Purum EDP. I don't know if it's still available, but some of the Boucherons are being taken down. This is not recent release. Um, it's a masculine fragrance. It's similar to many other uh, citrus, aromatic, you can say fougier, barbershop type of perfume, but this is really special. And when I say special, it's special to many people. Uh, I finally have it thanks to Fra uh, Fragrance BD, where I bought it from in Bangladesh. Uh, very fast shipping. The perfume, I remember, as far as I remember, in UK, pricing were very, very affordable. $30, $35 for a tester, you can buy $30. But now, price have gone a little bit high, $50, $55 bucks if you buy a full presentation. So I covered the EDT version from a small miniature. And I had that bottle somewhere still. But I just cannot find it today. But it was a small miniature which I got as a gift, 5 mil. Uh, that bottle looks very similar to this and it's very similar fragrance to that. But uh, there are some differences which I will tell you. I have it open in the Fragrantica. Uh, Fragrantica, the nose breakdown is open because a lot of notes. So the main reason why I want to review this, a lot of memories. So when I actually sort of like started off my journey, uh, I started my channel 2016, right? My, I mean the reviewing. And I got here, I wanted to, that time I was just a beginner in collection. I had about only 120 perfumes. So whatever I was trying, whatever, I'm going to tell a little bit story. So you'll understand why I got this perfume. At that time, I did not have pure malt. I did not have a lot of perfumes, you know. That time when you start, you want to have that collection. You know, you want to buy everything. You want to get those desired ones. So you can complete your line, Thierry Mugler line. You know, you, you see what I mean. And then you have, want to have your Pradas. You want to have your let's say YSL, uh, some of the other fragrances, you know, you want to have them all, Dior, Chanel. So whatever I was trying, I was being mesmerized. So when I tried Jaipur, I remember Jaipur was such a special perfume. I got the EDT, then I got the EDP and I paid full retail. Uh, obviously, later, later on, I regretted, regretted because uh, those fragrances can be, can be had for much cheaper. I paid like 70 something dollars each. So they are at the back somewhere. I don't want to get them. So Jaipur was a very nice... Uh, masculine spicy vanilla that sort of a perfume masculinity at best very long lasting signature scent worthy very posh smelling but that one sort of overshadows the bush and purum but still is a very nice perfume they have uh, like just like cartier they also make ornaments you know so i think you can give them a try you can find accessories and stuff they have some high high class ornaments right so here's the packaging once again i have a big boy bottle uh, this for some reason are getting a little rare in Bangladesh to find but I think this is not discontinued if it is sad So very nice presentation blue and golden if you buy them retail, they're gonna cost you a hundred dollars Okay, so do not do that Here is I think they make a ring. They made a ring that is similar to I'll show you what I mean This is the bottle amazing looking bottle glorious gorgeous regal golden blue the ring I'm gonna have to hold it tighter. I don't want to drop the bottle this ring, uh, if you wear it here, it is going to be a smaller version of it. You can see it looks like a stone, but actually it's a plastic, but very beautiful blue. So golden and blue, if you wear it, you know who is going to wear it. Mature men, uncles, you know, your father figures or someone who is a businessman. Like a very uh, mature 50 plus 60 year old uh, rich gentleman, right? They wear something like this with a nice bracelet, nice golden Rolex perhaps. It evokes feel of rich, okay? It looks very rich and posh. The only difference between the EDT and EDP is the whole bottle of EDT, it's transparent. This one has that smoky or frosted glass here. And then center is this nice little window. I'm going to take my sweet time. You know, I am not ashamed. Even if you curse at me, I'm going to do it because this fragrance is special to me. Nice yellow juice base. There's a sticker and the cap actually looks nice, but feels kind of cheap. Okay. This one, I'll tell you, I must tell you, this is flimsy. My Jaipur bottle, this part, the stone looking plastic came off. So I put glue. So inside, I'm not sure if there's going to be a lot of fakes, but golden and black atomizer, okay? And I have it on my hand. And dry down reached already. Let me show you the sprayer. Let me do one more. 
this actually is a bit much so if you find the vintage batch they actually are the best version of it but the newer version is also very decent so as it dries down let me tell you the notes breakdown they have tons of those okay lemon lemon verbena bergamot lavender orange basil mandarin orange those are the opening middle notes are rose carnation jasmine ylang ylang lily of the valley orris root that's maybe like iris and then the base is oak moss vetiver incense sandalwood musk benzoin amber and tonka beans so if you see the notes breakdown you know this is those powerhouse badass kind of fragrances like bad boy fragrances back in the time when men used to wear fragrance like antheas men used to wear fragrance like egoist or uh, in the style of those you know kuros this is from that era this fragrance is very similar to a lot of fragrance i have i own and i have them all i love that dior rouge sauvage armani eau pour homme okay uh, fragrances like i think ysl pour homme yeah ysl pour homme let me check few more i think i got 1881 ceruti yeah that one let me check a lot of fragrances similar to this but not exactly same yeah it has similar to 1881 yeah, 1881, Manceruti, uh, Usavash, Armani Opurum, the YSL uh, Purum. I have many others. You know, they have that YSL Jazz. So you see, if you like those Chanel Pour Mosio, I used to have it sold it off. You know, so this opens up very lemony, very lemony, very citrusy. Mm, it's like intense. It's like tight right there. You know? <laughs> it's like masculinity, you know. Uh, there's nothing childish about it. Very upper class suit. Let me tell you the performance first of all. When I wear this, I don't know which batch this is. Let me, you guys can find out perhaps. Uh, man, my uh, speckies, speckies are not really doing me any favor. Let me see. This one has batch code of, uh, oh man, 06L197075. I don't know if that's the batch code, but this, I don't know if it's a new or old batch, but this fragrance actually lasts pretty long time on me. Seven to eight hours, easy. Uh, some people get spotty longevity. Perhaps you are wearing it in the, High heat so even though there's a lemon the edt is the more safer choice for warmer weather but make no mistake this is not going to give you an aquatic citrusy feel like durum spore or durum cologne or versace porum this is going to go seriously heavy with the spices a very spicy like aftershave and also got that fougier barbershop oak moss vibe uh, so it is sort of like a not backdated but very uh, mature smell this i would not recommend this perfume especially to people who are below 25 when you become 25 join the workforce even 30 35 men might feel this is a bit mature you know this is not gonna be a clubbing fragrance what this is not not a clubbing fragrance this is not a fragrance perhaps you want to wear in a date unless you already know her for a long time she knows you uh, and if you are kind of like 30 plus maybe you are divorced once let me tell you you know if you have been divorced there you had partners and then you know you are now experiencing life you have some you know like you have some <laughs> i don't know i got some bump you know or something like you got how to say a bitter experience in life you learn from it you know you heard before and then you started going out but you're not looking to date anybody but you want to wear something for yourself that makes a statement this is the fragrance like and the fragrance oh ralph Lauren safari this is from the same era i think okay so if you love those perfumes you know if you've been a fan this is a regal masterpiece you can say this 1881 Seruti and this is comparable, but that one is a little bit less complex compared to this. That one is very easy, green. Uh, I think there's a minty vibe going on, citrusy, but the lavender and the fougier vibe is a lot more wearable, more soothing, cooling. This is going to spice things up. If you wear this in winter, this is where it's going to shine. You can wear this for Christmas, man. If you suit it up, let's say Johnny Depp, I see him wearing this. If you like Zeno Davidoff, you see all this fragrance will come up Chanel Antheas if you wear those this is a fragrance you wear with a lot of confidence this is a boss man kind of perfume even if you like Oscar de la Renta like poor Louis this belongs in that family okay this is one of those regal family of England okay, England <laughs> uh, but I think this is a stunning masterpiece okay those who love it they know they love it but this perfume is not for young uh, soulful people like who love you know on the go you know energetic this is office boss this is a fragrance your CEO is wearing, okay? If you look at the bottle, you know, British people, I noticed, love this fragrance. I saw Carl Pearson, right? He's one of my good friends, also YouTube reviewer. He's from UK. All the YouTube reviewers from UK, they have massive respect for it, right? I think it's the weather there, you know, the weather with the tea, Yorkshire tea, and a little bit of 
uh, foggy old London, you know, it goes perfectly with it. So if you're going to get a feel of British royalty, even though it's a French perfumery, this feels like British royalty. Okay. So all the high praise I'm singing, all the beautiful things I said about the bottle, because I have that sentiments towards it. I want it for a very long time. So what this is also not going to be, it's not going to be a playful perfume to say the least. Uh, this is something that Al Pacino, Al Pacino is wearing in the Devil's Advocate. Okay. It smells like a man and his uh, natural smell, you know, also mixes with it. So makes it nice little statement. Reminds me of Kuro's citrusy version. Okay. If you've been a fan, try it out. Uh, longevity and projection, 10 on me. Okay. No doubt about it. Even though this EDP projects beautifully, two, three hours of solid projection, people can smell it around you at least 10, 15 feet. But if it's very warm, humid, I would say do not wear this. Okay. Because it will become a bit animalic. That fujia, the oak moss, it will bring up kind of like a smoky, uh, the citrus is not going to do any favors. Like Pu Mossio, same thing happens with me. The citrus are not the only player. This one is a powerhouse. All right. And a very suited up powerhouse. Okay. So try out Busher and Purum EDP fantastic masterpiece something to be studied something to be collected a vintage smelling perfume when this is discontinued people will pay two three hundred dollars to hunt it down write it down okay so bush and Purum, edp because i'm 41 for me it's a fantastic perfume perhaps 20 years back i would find this too outdated okay so you uh, make up your mind and smell it there's no harm in smelling perfume since uh, stalls or boutiques overall this is a masterpiece 10 out of 10 this is even better than the EDT, but the EDT is better in summer. Warmer months, that is better. Cooler months, the EDP is the way to go. And the difference are minute, you know. This one is just a bit longer lasting than EDT and a bit more sophisticated. That's about it. But the EDT is more fresh and bright. Thanks very much for watching. Think go and upload this. Take care. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.